and welcome to this week's video where I'm going to be looking at non-calculator arcs and sectors because this is something that I've been asked about before. And as usual, what I've got is I've got a wee four-step guide over here that we're going to be using. So this is quite straightforward and it's basically, I've got the two formulas written out there for the length of arc and the area of sector. I'm going to just use an example here. So we're given this diagram here and we're asked to say, taking that pi is 3.14, find the sector area. So that's what we're doing here. So the first thing we need to do is, it tells me here, is to write out the correct formula and fill in the values accordingly. So just the same way if you were working out one of these that was calculator. So the correct one is going to be this one here. So it's the area of sector. So area of sector is angle over 360 times pi times r squared. And what we can actually do is just substitute the values in. So we've got the 120, so I can put that there. And then pi, we'll leave it that just now. The radius is 6, so I'll write that in there. And the second thing we're told to do is simplify the fraction. So 120 over 36. So it doesn't matter how long it takes you, but both of them can divide by 10. So it would become 12 over 36. And as I say, you might take you a few attempts to get there, but it's basically just 1 over 3. So it's 1 over 3, would this be simplified. And then 6 squared is obviously 36. And what we're told the third step is multiply the fraction by the end term. So we're multiplying a third by 36. So it's really just like getting a third of 36. So how do we get a third of 36? We just divide by the bottom and times by the top. So 36 divided by 3 is 12. And 12 times 1 is just 12. And then the next step, we're told to multiply the answer by pi, which is 3.14. So we can do this non-calculator. I would do 10 times 3.14, which is 31.4. And then 2 times 3.14, which is 6.28. And then when I add them together, I get 37.68 and this is area so it's centimetres squared okay, and that's the final answer. We'll do another example. So now we've got the next example and this time we've got this diagram here and we're told to take pi to be 3.14 and we have to find the arc length. So going through our four step guide, first thing we do is write out the correct formula and fill in the values accordingly. So it's arc length this time. So arc length is up there. So arc length or length of arc is angle over 360 times pi times the diameter. And then what we're told to do is fill in the values accordingly. So we've already got the angle, which is 270. So we'll do that. So 270 times pi. And the diameter, well, if the radius is 14, the diameter is going to be double that. So it's going to be 28. So I can just make this a bit 28. And then the second step says to simplify the fraction. So we just simplify that fraction. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide both by 10. So that gets rid of that 0 and this one. And then 27 and 36 are both in the 9 times table. So if I divide the top by 9, that becomes 3. And if I divide the bottom by 9, that becomes 4. So that's the second step done. The third step is to multiply the fraction by the end term. So we're essentially getting 3 quarters of 28. 
So to get 3 quarters of 28, you divide by the bottom and times by the top. So you do 28 divided by 4, which is 7, and then you times that by 3, which is 21. So that's our third step done. And then in the fourth step, we multiply that answer by pi, which we're told is 3.14. So we're doing 21 times 3.14. So if we're doing this non-calc, you can do it as a, a long multiplication. I would maybe just do 10 times 3.14. So 10 times 3.14 is 31.4. If I want to get 20 times 3.14, I just want to double that answer. So if I times that by 2, that's essentially 20 times 3.14. So if you want to find what something is, if you times it by 20, times it by 10, then times it by 2. This also works if it was 60, you would times it by 10, then times it by 6. So that's we got 20 times 3.14, but it's 21 times 3.14, which means I need to add another 3.14 onto that one. So if it was 62.8, add 3.14. And I get 65.94. And that would just be centimetres because it's arc length. We'll do another example. Pause. This time we've got another example. And we've got the angle's 15 degrees and the radius is 12 centimetres. And we're asked to find the area of the sector. So we just go through the steps. So the first one is we write out the correct formula. So we know it's area of sector. So area of sector, um, area of sector is angle over 360 times pi times r squared. And then we're told to fill in the values accordingly. So the angle we've got here is 15. And the radius is 12. So this one might be a bit more tricky. Uh, 12, and it's 12 squared. And the first thing we're told there, the second thing I should say, is to simplify the fraction. So we look at these two numbers, now, some people might not be too sure what they can both divide by. They can both divide by 3, because 3, 6, and 15. So the top would become 5, and the bottom would become 120. And they can both divide by 5. A way to think about that is if something ends in 0 or 5, it can always be divided by 5. It's a little bit like if you go to um, a raffle, a tombola, you always get a prize when it ends in a 0 or 5. So it's always a number that's in the 5 times table. So to divide the top by 5, it's just going to become 1. And to divide the bottom by 5, you can all, you could do it like a bus stop sum. Or a kind of hack, if you want to divide a number by 5, is divide it by 10 and double the answer. So if you divided 120 by 10, you would get 12. And then just double 12, which is 24. And then 12 squared, so this is from the 12 times table, is 144. And then what we're told there is multiply the, the fraction by the end term. So we need to get 1 24th of 144. Now this is probably harder than a lot of the ones that you may have seen in past papers. But really we just need to divide by 24. So we're trying to think how many 24s do we get in 144? So you can sit and add, if you're not sure, you can add it up. You can do 24, add 24, and keep going until you get to 144. Or you might take a guess, and you might be right. And, you know, if, you, if you, the number's too low, you can add on another 24. Another way you could do it is put 144 over 24, like that. 
and sort of keep going so you can half the, both of those numbers. So the top would be 72 and then the bottom would be 12. And then you might think, what can I divide both of them by? So both of them can divide by six. So the top would be 12 and the bottom would be two. 12 divided by two is just six. So the answer is just six. Some people might have worked that out anyway. So we've got six and then we've got to multiply it by 3.14. So it's just six times 3.14. And you can do that as a like that sort of sum there. If you're not sure. So six times four is 24. Six times one is six, add two is eight. Six times three is 18. So the area of the sector is 18.84 centimetres squared. We'll do one more example. Oh, sorry, it took a wee while to come through. It's 11. Is it? Or is it 14? There's a wee thing coming at the side there. I don't know if it's a message that came in or not. I didn't read it. 